Snakes can become your profession because breeding and selling can pay you. When keeping snakes, you really don't have to worry about any vaccinations. Generally speaking, snakes have two main goals in life, those being to eat and not to be eaten. However, people underestimate just how smart they are because they're way more intelligent than you may think. Snakes are known to be amazing when it comes to helping people through therapy and work as therapy pets, whether it's anxiety or depression or other things like those that can really help out. Some snakes have been known to become very attracted to their owners, so they can really basically form a relationship with you. Keeping and breeding certain species can potentially save populations or whole species. Snakes are by far one of the most misunderstood animals on the planet. Being able to have pet snakes means that you can really help show people just how harmless many of them are and really just how interesting they are overall. Snakes can make perfect pets for people with autism because they're just so calm and so quiet. Because snakes are so cool, they can keep you interested and occupied in something. Unlike lots of different mammals or birds you may keep, reptiles don't require any annual vet visits, so you can save quite a bit of money. I'm not really sure why, but a lot of reptile keepers can tell you, snakes just simply bring you a lot of happiness for some reason. Snakes have been around for almost 100 million years, while humans have only been here for thousands. It's just pretty cool being able to keep an animal that's a lot like those that were around in the dinosaur era. Compared to mammals, birds, fish, or even other reptiles, snakes are amazing beginner pets because they're so simple and easy compared to others. The ability to keep different captive snakes means that you can do a lot more research on different species. Keeping a snake means that you have a chance to get super creative when creating their enclosure and what they're going to be living in. Whether you want to give it a certain look or style or theme, whatever you want, you can really play around with it and make it super interesting. Snakes are really easy to keep happy as long as their enclosures are all maintained and clean and they get the food that they need, they're pretty much good to go. Generally speaking, snakes are very apartment friendly. Many places just let you bring your snakes and others don't have to know because they're so small and they can just kind of go in your apartment wherever. Keeping pet snakes means that there's another thing that you can really love, be passionate about, and promote the conservation for. Snakes, obviously, don't have any feathers. If you can't keep an animal with feathers because of an allergy or something else, snakes are a great alternative. Unfortunately, it's not too uncommon to get sick from a dog or cat or other mammal that you may have in the house. However, humans and snakes are very different and it's gonna be really rare to get sick from your reptile. Because we're warm-blooded and snakes are cold-blooded, we can give them a lot of heat simply through our body, which means that they're happy to cuddle with you for some free warmth. The pheromones that snakes release are actually a natural rodent repellent. When mice and rats detect that, they will get out of there because they know that there's a snake that might want to eat them in the area. Snakes are completely furless, which means if you're allergic to dogs or cats or any other types of fur, a snake is a great option since they are hypoallergenic. Snakes can be really great to show off because they're just so cool. You can just take your pet and go out and show people to get them really interested. As long as you do so responsibly, you can really build and create a beautiful collection of different reptiles, especially including snakes. Snakes are never going to attack or be aggressive. The only time they ever may bite is if they have to be defensive or protect something because they're scared or because they need to eat. But when it comes to most non-venomous snakes, it's really no big deal if you get bit. Snakes can definitely enjoy attention. However, if you can't give them attention, they're completely fine without it. More people have drowned in their own cat's water bowls than there have been people killed or hurt by corn snakes. There's a massive community of reptile keepers that I was never even really aware of, whether it's online or in person at expos. So if you end up keeping any of these reptiles or if you just have an interest in them, it's a great way to join a huge community and meet a lot of really cool people. I'm not really sure why, but lots of people think that it's super easy for snakes to escape their enclosures, when in reality, it's really easy to keep them contained. Lots of enclosures have latches, and you can even lock them up so that there's no chance of them getting out of that area. If you're on a really tight budget, you can find very low-priced snakes that are just as great as really expensive ones. In addition to that, you can go pretty basic when it comes to setup, so you can save a lot of money and really not have to pay very much. Snakes come in tons of different colors, patterns, sizes, and shapes, so there's always gonna be one that suits everyone's fashion. 
Dogs and cats aren't the only animals that need rescuing. There's plenty of reptiles in different facilities that need rehoming, rehab, and adoption, just like these two right here. Snakes can simply keep you a lot of company. Lots of snakes are extremely slow moving, especially ball pythons, so you don't have to worry about them getting away really fast as long as they're under supervision. Keeping snakes have to be the most efficient way to keep annoying snake haters out of your house or your personal space. The cost of buying, keeping, and maintaining reptiles is so much cheaper than a lot of other pets. It's never a bad idea to take your snake outside to enjoy nice days and get some fresh air and explore with plenty of supervision. However, it's never required and you definitely don't need to walk them three times a day like some animals. Snakes can be super clumsy and of course really adorable, so it's pretty easy to accidentally spend all day just watching them do their thing. If guests come over, snakes aren't going to jump out the door and start barking at or trying to play with your guests that are just trying to come over to your house. If you move from house to house or from city to city often, it's really not a big deal having a snake. You can just pack up their enclosure, make sure they're secure, and travel with them wherever you end up going. Snakes certainly aren't going to bark and are never going to wake you up in the middle of the night. The most noise I ever hear is when a snake might be exploring their enclosure and then they like slide off the hide and clunk on the ground or something. Snakes are an amazing conversation starter. So if someone comes over to your house and they see your dog, I'm like, okay, lots of people have dogs. But if they see that you have a snake, it's a lot more interesting. Snakes aren't gonna require any training from any professionals. Even if your snake is a bit grumpy, it's not too hard to get them nice and used to you. Fleas and ticks aren't something you have to worry about. And although something called snake mites exist, it's very easy to avoid your snakes getting them. No snakes voted for anyone, so you can't really be mad about that. It's always ideal for snakes to eat mice or rats that were frozen and then thawed out and fed to them. All these mice and rats, however, are euthanized in a pretty humane way, so there's really no cruelty that comes with keeping snakes more than most other popular pet animals. They don't have any smell. The only way you're ever gonna smell something from your snake is if you go way too long without cleaning their enclosure. Snakes have been found to have really strong bonds with their owners, and some snakes can even recognize different people and tell them apart. Even if they're the same species, each snake is going to have a super unique personality. Snakes are extremely low maintenance and there's really not that much that you have to do for them. Generally speaking, snakes only need one meal per week, so it's really not too difficult and not too expensive to actually get them the food that they need. The actual snakes themselves don't require any bathing or cleaning to stay healthy. Many people have said that keeping snakes can really help you through grief. Whether it's another animal or a person, they really have just a comforting feel to them. Even if you let them hang out around the house with you, they're not going to scratch up all of your furniture like certain animals will. The far majority of pet snakes have been captive bred, meaning that wild populations were not touched whatsoever, and all the snakes are completely used to being in captivity because it's all they've ever been in. Animals like dogs always need a lot of social activity, whether it's people constantly around them or other dogs to live with them. However, snakes actually do best when they're in their enclosure by themselves and they really don't get lonely and don't mind being by themselves. Just watching your snake through the enclosure and see what they're doing can be pretty cool and it can keep you interested for a really long time. Snakes are only gonna poop as often as you feed them and generally speaking, you just feed them once a week. So that is way easier compared to a lot of other animals. I really can't think of any animals that eat like a snake. So it's really fascinating to watch the process of how they actually do it. Although these two individual species I'm holding are gonna grow up, some snakes do actually stay really small sizes like this throughout their whole life. So they're really easily manageable. Snakes are really relatable to a lot of us. They eat, they sleep, they hide all day, and then they stay up all night. There's definitely fur all over my house, but they're all from cats. You're never gonna see any remnants of anything from snakes around your house. There's so many species of snakes in the world that they're super diverse and exotic. Both species and individuals are all going to be super different from one another. If you have a snake and you're going on vacation, you can usually make it a few days without any pet sitters, so it's a lot easier. Each snake is gonna have amazing colors and patterns that really make it stand out, so they're really just amazing to look at. Although snakes are super easy, they do obviously still need some care, but that means it's a great way to learn responsibility. Snakes have to be the best safe saving, best safe space, safe spacing, the best safe. Snakes have to be the best safe spacing, base saving. Snakes have to be the best safe. 
Snakes have to be the best space saving animal. If you really want a pet but don't have many places they can go, they're gonna be a great option. Each year in the United States, there are approximately six deaths by snakes, nearly all of which are while trying to kill the snake, refuse treatment, or did it for a religious reason. However, there are 20 people killed by cows per year in the US, 30 by dogs, and 54 by lightning, all of which are things you probably don't worry about really at all. Feeding the snakes can simply, <laughs> feeding your snake is gonna be pretty exciting. Even if you are feeding frozen, which is always ideal, it's still really cool to see the amount of power that they can use when they actually go and eat their food. The fewer snakes we have, the more rodents and vice versa. So of course we shouldn't go out releasing our pet snakes. However, having more snakes in an area means that there's going to be way less mice and rats and a lot less chance of disease. As long as they're handled and cared for well, they can be super docile and they never show any harm or anger towards you. Snakes can be super artistically inspiring. Have you seen some of the art that people have made based around snakes? This guy and this girl are both babies. However, they're never gonna go through that really irritating puppy stage where you just really can't handle them. They're gonna be super chill and easy for their whole life. They are by far one of the safest animals you can possibly keep because they are so harmless. As you can probably tell, snakes can also simply be living jewelry. If your parents are trying to tell you that they don't want a snake, well, they really won't even have one because they can be so out of sight. Because so many of the enclosures are so small, you can kind of just tuck them out of the way and they won't even know that they're there. Snakes have to be one of the best tempered animals, especially compared to other popular pets. Snakes are gonna be amazing for all ages because they are so easy to keep. Although much younger kids might need some help from parents or other people, you're never gonna have any issues because they are simply so easy. Even if snakes are captive bred, it's a great way to really learn about and connect with animals in the wild, whether they live in the same state as you or in a completely different country. Being able to keep snakes and just handling them, it's a great way to relieve some stress. The life expectancies of snakes in captivity compared to the wild are always higher. Usually snakes are just gonna shed in one piece, so they're not gonna leave any gross dead skin just around the house like a dog, or even you will in your couch and everything. Captive snakes are amazing educational ambassadors to really teach people about their species. Shadow, for example, is a black rat snake, and he comes to lots of different festivals in North Carolina to show people one of the many native snakes in the area. Getting bit from a lot of the popular pet snakes is no big deal at all. I'd much rather get bit by him a few times than a cat. But again, it's really easy to avoid bites in the first place, and it doesn't happen very often. If you have a pet snake, you always have a snoot available to boop. Snakes are capable of saving human lives. If you're responsible and licensed, you can keep certain venomous snakes in captivity, milk their venom without any harm done to them, and use that venom to create antivenom and different sorts of medicines and cures to certain illnesses which can then save people. The more popular snakes become, the less people are gonna fear them and start actually respecting and maybe even enjoying them. Some of these snakes, like ball pythons for example, have extremely long lifespans, so they're basically a lifetime animal that you get to know for a super long time. It's really just a fact that everyone loves snakes. If you say you don't, you simply haven't touched one or spent enough time with one. So there you go. That was 100 reasons snakes can make really great pets. But thank you to all the people that left reasons on the other video, because there were plenty of things I had never even thought about. So hopefully this brought you some new insight on what keeping snakes is really like. And this came from actual reptile keepers and not anti-reptile keepers. If you like the video, it's possible you'll enjoy the other videos on my channel because it is all about reptiles and amphibians and you can consider subscribing and make sure you follow on all the socials where I try to post daily. Snakes are never gonna bark.